Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Monster Bring you guys another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys tips and tricks on how to get more solo wins in Season 5, guys. I know I haven't done one of these videos in a while, so basically we're doing a live gameplay where I'm playing this game out, trying to see if I can give you guys the best tips and tricks in order for you guys to get some victory rail. So I'm going to play this out, and I'm going to commentate over it and try to tell you guys, like, as I'm playing, why I'm doing certain things. It's going to be a little hard. Usually I like doing this over a pre-recorded game, so that way I can actually get to know like I can actually talk instead of focusing because usually on PC when it comes to solo games I, I really got to focus up and try and think of the next play that I'm about to do because a lot of the people are good so we're gonna land salty springs again I like landing salty springs it's always been one of my favorite places the reason I like this place so much is because guys you don't got to worry about the circle because salty springs is like almost in the middle of the map so you're usually eight times out of ten already in the circle for the next storm so I don't got to really worry about the storm or anything like that I can just go ahead and try try and uh loot kill and get as much mats as i possibly can so that way i'm not running around and stuff like that so I, I one mistake that i just did i didn't even look around the map i didn't even check to see if there was anyone else around the map which i should have done but it's okay uh just because i can hear I, I got a good headset on so i'm gonna be able to hear and sound horn and stuff like that so if anyone runs up on me i'll definitely be able to hear him out i do have an smg the only thing i'm looking for now is a shotgun the first two things i want in my house shields and a shotgun those are the main two things that I want if I could get one thing shotgun if I could get two things a shield and a shotgun if I could get three shield shotgun and an SMG just because again early game a lot of the fights are up close gun fights where people are usually running into your house or something like that so you're gonna want to have uh, your stuff organized and stuff you're gonna want to have shields so that way you're not getting one pumped or anything like that and the shotgun SMG combo of course is the new meta so you guys gotta rock shotgun SMG combo is the best thing in the game I heard people up here shooting so we're gonna push this way hopefully we can find anyone again we're farming trees and stuff like that because yeah, there's a guy right here. Oh crap, he heard me. <coughs> Alright, I don't think this guy's yeah, yeah, this guy's not bad. So you know what? Instead of just challenging him and wasting mats, we're just gonna shoot him down, get him back down here to our oh he launch padded. Alright, so we got some time. He launch padded out of here, which means he was either weak or he was scared. He just wanted to get out of there. He wasted a launch pad, it's fine. I see that guy on the mountain, it's okay. Break this down. Ooh, he barely missed me, you guys. Good, 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 though. We got a big pot and a, a normal AR, which is good. Because I'm not very good with the burst on PC. If you're on console, I'm telling you guys now, get used to the burst. Because on console, the burst is amazing, you guys. I'm telling you, with that aim assist, it, it's amazing. I promise you. But on PC, it's a little harder. Oh, he's rushing me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to third person peek it. Try to see if I can see him rushing and then shoot him. Oh, yeah, he's got a heavy. Okay, so when someone has a shotgun and you don't have a shotgun, building is your number one priority. You got to make sure that you build so that way they're not getting that shot off on you, that that major damage shot. If I had a trap, I could have easily trapped, killed him right there. But it's all right. Oh, he's weak. All right, see, see how I'm just putting things down so that way he can't shoot me? Crouch real quick, see if he comes around. Oh, crap, I have to reload. Yeah, see, notice how I'm just building. I'm constantly building. That way he does not actually hit me with one of those shots. Because if he hits me with one of those heavy shots, my health is going down extremely low. And I'm literally one shot with an SMG. So that's that's all I want to do. If I don't have a shotgun and I have just SMGs and stuff like that, you want to avoid any type of like actually taking damage. So you're going to want to build, try and trap the person, try and get out of the person's sight, take some shots, build again. That's basically what you want to do in fights like that. I heard someone up here shooting. See if I could see them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him. He's over here to the left. Oh, here's someone. Oh my goodness, he actually hit me. Ooh, 92 to the head. Yeah, I figured this guy was going to rush me just because he heard some shots going off. He was probably like, okay, this guy's weak. He's probably not expecting me. But just because I saw him earlier, I had to keep that in mind, and I was ready for it. So, again, keep in mind, if you do see somebody, be ready for them to rush you because the second you get done with a the fight, their mindset is, oh, hey, this guy just got done with the fight. He's weak. Let me rush. Oh, there's another guy right here. Holy crap. Salty Springs is lit, man. Oh, my goodness. I boogie bombed myself. Oh, he just screwed up. See, he just jumped down, which lost high ground, which is good for me. Now that he lost high ground, we can get him weak. Hit him a few times. There we go. Ooh. 
it, it's scary taking the time to actually shoot your shot like that. But a, a little tip and suggestion for you guys that are playing this and maybe you're trying to get better with the SMG. Sometimes if you just take your time, crouch, and actually try and hit your shots, you can melt them quicker than they can actually pull off two shots with a shotgun. So you'll be good. So as long as you can actually focus, crouch down and focus on your shot instead of just jumping all over the place going crazy, take the second to actually focus. Especially console players, you have that aim assist. Use it to your advantage where it actually locks on. Just focus on that and you'll be good to go. So now, now that we basically took over Fatal Fields and Salty Springs, area I think all I'm gonna do is farm up so for the next I think probably two minutes the storm's gonna come in so I'm just gonna be basically be farming this whole time guys and that's because I just want to have as much mats as I possibly can so that way towards if I ever get into a fight with somebody good I know they're gonna have a lot of mats and it's gonna be a build-off so I'm gonna want to protect myself and stuff like that so I'll see you guys when I'm done farming um, just because this, this could take a while oh crap I heard someone someone's around me I can hear them Oh, in the house. Okay. Oh, it's a no skin. She doesn't know what she's doing. I'm going to try a no scoper. Actually, let's just quick scope her. There we go, guys. Yeah, see, sometimes you'll run into these no skins. One thing that I did notice on PC is that there's a lot of, like, there's a lot more noobs on PC rather than console. On console, it's it's usually, like, everyone's majority around the same skill level, and there's people that are, of course, just slightly better. But then on PC, you either have, like, you're really good or you're just just a noob a no skin noob basically a bot like tifu calls him but th it's just crazy guys see this little farming technique that i'm doing you guys got to do this it's literally you got to farm emote jump um it's just like the old technique that i used to show it's extremely quick extremely easy oh, i thought I, oh my gosh all right someone's behind me hopefully see it sucks because you never know who you're gonna encounter oh my goodness they hit me this person's probably good because he just hit a snipe on me, which I was not expecting. So he's probably better and he's spraying me down being smart because he knows that I'm weak. So he knows that I'm trying to heal up. So I, I'm pretty weak. He's going to rush me yeah, if he's a good player. Yes, as you can see, he's rushing me. So I don't want to give him high ground. Let me build up. Oh my gosh, I was close. You see, basically right there, what I wanted to do was not give this guy high ground. I knew he was rushing me. All I did was pop minis and I was ready to fight. Just that's why having minis is really good because in situations like that, I wasn't like, I knew what he was going to do just because a good player, if they snipe you and they get you weak, they're going to constantly shoot at your base to give you pressure. So that way you have no time to heal. That way you're constantly building. And then they're also going to rush you as well, which is exactly what that guy did. So I predicted it. Um, and that's just part of being good at Fortnite. You just got to be able to predict other people. And um, when somebody has pretty good IQ at the game, they're, they're usually going to end up doing something like that. Like that so what you want to do is you just want to try to try and not smart them i didn't want to give him high ground if i sat there and let him get high ground on me then things would have got a lot harder because i, I would have been playing after his plays like i'm i'm basically doing things to counter him so he's gonna be waiting for me he's gonna be watching me watching me do moves and I, I don't want it to be like that i want it to be the other way around where i'm watching him do moves because i'm above him so i'm one step ahead of him so i'm watching to see if he messes up and then i i strike on that so which basically is exactly what happened i took the high ground and i watched him through my build i tried to see if he was coming and then the second i saw him go through a little crack that's when i took my shot got big damage on him got him weak and i was able to just melt him quickly and easy like that so yes it is it is it does take practice, but the more you play, the more you'll actually get better. And guys, I suggest watching good people because you start to pick up on their habits. And good players usually have... Is that a scar over there? Oh my goodness, this has to be a bait. There's no way someone just left this gold scar sitting in the middle of nowhere. This has to be a bait, dude. Somebody's got to be baiting this out. There's probably C4s laid around this whole place. There's a med kit, a scar. Oh my goodness, dude. Take that real quick. I don't hear anyone, so we might be good, dude. We might we might be good. So yeah, like I was saying, watch good... Oh, shoot. Was it a bait? Was this guy baiting it out? The storm's coming. Oh man, he's going to really wait there. So... Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys real quick. The storm's coming. I'm going to wait a second to see if he's pushing me. I'm going to give him a little cover fire to make him think that I'm actually staying to fight. And now I'm just going to dip out of here. I'm going to get out of here because the storm's coming. I don't want to get caught in the storm. I don't want to have a fight in the storm just because it's pointless. I want to use the houses, the hills, and all that things as a line of sight so that way he does not see me running away. And I can try and get out of there as quick as possible without him seeing me. So this way I can get in the circle. Once I get in the circle, then I can worry about fighting him and stuff like that. It's just going to be a waste to fight somebody in the storm, use up all all the mats and then have to run into the next circle and you're taking damage the whole entire time so it's just it's just a waste guys just just sometimes you got to focus on the storm and get to the next circle crab there's a person up there and they see me oh my goodness i'm about to be 
see, instead of pushing that person, I'm going to try and avoid that person because I know there's a guy behind me. So if I push this person, I'm going to get sandwiched. I'm going to get pushed by the guy behind me and then the guy that I'm pushing. So I'm going to get sandwiched, which is something I want to avoid doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm, ooh, I'm just going to avoid this route completely, go somewhere completely else. Let them two end up running into each other. There's another person up here. Holy crap. I can get sandwiched by three people right now. So what I'm going to do, hopefully this guy does not rush me. I'm going to rush this person over here that was shooting. And then I'm going to take, yeah, see over there, it looks like they're fighting. Oh, he launch padded. It looks like they were about to start fighting, so I'm good on that part. They were distracted by each other. Now, where's this guy that was sniping? It was a, I think that's him right there. Oh, 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 someone just got sniped on the hill. Oh, no, he's going to take the rift. Oh, no, he's just trying to snipe. There we go. 125 headshot, dude. That was, that was a good shot. All right, so as you can see, the guy that... There's two of them that just died. There's four of us right there towards the edge of the circle. I know that there's another guy, so I'm going to always stay on edge. Heal up real quick. Trap myself in a box. Heal up. Make sure that no one's ever rushing me or anything like that. Make sure I'm good to go. And then I, I remember that there is somebody over close to the edge of the circle. That's because that was the guy that was chasing me down. He ended up sniping me, getting me weak. But look at what happened out of that. I, I got out of there. I got full health, full shield after getting... Getting sniped i got good mats um there's wood around here so oh there's the wood there we go oh my goodness 999 wood i have 700 bricks so i have good mats good positioning on a hill in the next circle so that's why it's always a good thing to sometimes rotate you got to know what fights to take and what fights not to take and it's okay to bail out of a fight like that as long as you do it the right way the right way like i did right there where i actually yeah, he's trying to snipe me like i did right there where i used the hills and stuff like that to my advantage so he couldn't see me or anything like that so this guy's gonna have to push me just because the storm he's not in the circle so again and just like last time he's got to push me just because the storm's gonna close in on his butt cheeks he's not shooting though i see him in there he's editing and stuff like that oh he took a shot all right now that he's reloading let me try and shoot that launch pad out i don't want to get sniped oh crap someone's here someone else is here you guys all right can't can't let him get high ground so let me uh maintain high ground gotta remember there's a guy behind me so i'm gonna have to keep putting up these walls behind me Ooh, let me give this guy pressure. Shoot him down real quick. Maintain high ground. I shot him down, so he fell down. I remember there's a guy that was at the edge of the circle. This guy is just hiding now. I think he's going to play scared. That dude probably launch padded. He's probably on his way over here. So I just got to be quiet and just try and see if I could see anyone. Really. Oh, I think that's where the guy launch padded to. So he launch padded over there. He's building a nice one by one, which is... An old strat that people used to do in the game. I'm going to just hit this riff and just go rush him. I know there was a guy under my base, but it's okay. I just want to go get rid of this person. Just because somebody that builds a one-by-one, one, he could shoot me. I'm not going to land in his base one because he's just going to have a shotgun. He's going to be ready and just dominate me. I don't think he saw me, so I'm going to get inside his base. And just knock him down this way and then shoot him as he's on his way down. This is probably the best technique to do. It's just when you're going against a good person, they'll hear you doing this, so they'll come down. Is he up there? Oh, he already fell. Yeah, see, just like that, you guys. That's all you have to do. Knock him. Dang, get a good freaking loadout. My man's had a good loadout. Put this trap here. All right, so we can rush that guy that was on that mountain. Yeah, so I can see he's still up there. I do have a launch pad, so I'm good to go. I'm just going to launch pad to him. Oh, I choked. There we go. See, now he's getting defensive. He's pulling out his shotgun. He's going to build, I bet. Exactly what I thought. Now, I can't let him get high ground, so I got to build up. Try and get high ground. Make sure he doesn't get high ground. Oh, he's trapped himself in a box. He screwed up. When someone traps himself in a box like that, you guys, you want to get on top of them immediately and start shooting it down because they're, they're literally sitting there and they have to think of the next step. So that's when you take advantage of them because they don't know what's going on exactly because they trapped themselves in a box. So they're trying to think, oh crap, what do I do to get out of this? This guy has high ground. So you want to stay aggressive because when you're aggressive, you're constantly putting that pressure on somebody to the point where they're not going to be able to know what to do because they freeze up, they freak out, they panic, and, and they do things that they wouldn't normally do. Let's get this wood down here max out on our wood and let's go rush that guy that was rpg in us he's over there by our old build so he can't see us because we're using the hills as like a line of sight so he can't see us past this line of sight so we're good going this way the only issue is he has an rpg i don't know where he went i heard him over here somewhere oh yeah there he is right there oh my god my trap dude my trap almost killed him holy crap you know what 
Let's uh let's wait off on this launch pad first. Let's uh let's go loot this guy. It's always good to loot somebody. You never know if they have 999 steel or something. Like I could use it. Uh yeah, it looked like he didn't have anything. But traps, traps are always good. You you always want traps, especially nowadays that people are trap killing everyone. It's really easy to do it. Uh, I don't see. Oh okay, I saw a build somebody build. See that's one good thing about launch pads. Is you can just try and get the uh the advantage on somebody like this person has no clue no scope oh she's building heavy she knows what she's doing again like i said maintain high ground don't let him get high ground she trapped herself in a box same exact thing man same exact thing give her constant pressure fire she's constantly putting up a roof so let me destroy this wall put up a wall and bam just like that dude just like that that's all you have to do is just change up your route sometimes if somebody is constantly putting up a roof switch it up go to the side shoot it down but instead of shooting it down and then trying to fight holy crap somebody almost hit me oh and they're rushing me oh he just screwed up trapped himself in a box man and that's why the traps are actually really good because you trap kill somebody just like that i'm surprised he didn't die though that was crazy he, he didn't even try breaking out he didn't die or anything like that so when someone gets above you exactly what i did right there you just want to put a pyramid side walls trap them in a box and then you just put two traps on the wall it's very easy you guys i'll show you guys tips and tricks on how to do these certain things and stuff like that in another video if you guys do want to see stuff like that give this video a thumbs up i'll go ahead and give you guys the best tips and tricks on how to do certain things that i do in this gameplay but right now i'm just breaking it down to you guys so that way you guys can learn about like fortnite iq and what you're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to be looking out for and stuff like that but it's a 1v1 um don't know where this person is let's just try and have fun with them all right, here we go. Ready? Trick shot. Three, two, one. Oh, that was actually pretty close. Yeah, this person's a bot. So we're just going to have fun with this trick shot. Try and see if we can no-scope him. Um, the hunting rifle did get nerfed a little bit, so it's going to be a little bit harder to hit these shots. But it's always fun to just try it because if you do hit it, it's a clip. It's something cool that you can try and post on BCC and stuff like that. I don't know what this person's doing. If they're just hiding, if they're, if they're scared. It is a 1v1. If I do choke this... Oh, I hit it. She didn't die though. I should have. I should have got her weak. All right, now she's one shot though. She's freaking out big time now. Oh, that was way off. Storm's about to come here in a second. Yeah, we got a dip. Me and her both got a dip. Where the heck did she go though? She's like literally disappeared. I guarantee you, what's gonna happen is she's gonna die to the storm. Look at her, she's running to the storm. No, what are you doing? Oh, man. How do people like this make it this far at the end? Oh, crap, I'm about to die. Oh, oh, no, the storm. Dang, it ticks for so much. Yep, I knew it. I knew she was going to die to the storm. But, guys, there you guys have it. The best tips and tricks for solo victory royales. Guys, if you watch videos like this more often, you're going to start to pick up on these good tactics and techniques and stuff like that. So, you guys are actually going to learn more. So, if you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for all the love, support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.